Today, I'm going to show you how to set up, hijack this program. Usually the videos that I make, the utilities that I show you, are free programs. I very rarely will go through a, a paid program. Okay, this is the hijack this exe. Double click. Okay, now you need to choose a location where you want to save the file when you're extracting it. Okay, you hit desktop. Okay, and then you hit unzip. Okay, successfully unzipped. Okay, you can close this up. And then you will have an icon that looks like this. Okay, I'm going to show you a cool trick with this. Very easy, anybody can do it, and you know, get you out of a lot of trouble. If your browser is hijacked, um, it can cause a lot of things. Uh, you can get pop-ups. You may not even be able to get to a website. So there's a, um, you know, there's a lot of things that this can cause. You know, when you get hijacked. Okay, it, this what I'm going to show you is like a baseline. When you go to the doctors and you get a blood test, and then they have that baseline. He keeps that on file, and he can always refer to that at a later date when you come back if you're ill and you can see difference changes okay that's what I'm gonna be showing you it's a cool little trick and um, you save a log file when your computer is running perfectly fine you do a log file you save it and then you can refer to that if there's a change you you can't get to a browser you can't you can't do something well you look at your log file you see if there's anything's been changed okay and if anything has been changed you put a check in it and you delete it and you're good to go and it should straighten it out if you were hijacked if that was the problem double click on the icon and this is what the program looks like okay now you do a system scan and save log file it's the very first one very simple okay you're gonna see all the stuff on my computer here okay now another box will come up very shortly after it scans it all and what you do is you save that, you date it, and you tuck it away into your uh, documents. And you can always refer to all of that. And here we go. Here's the hijack log file. And what you do is you go to file, save as. Okay. And it's a hijack this file. And today is 8. Oh, four. Okay. Two thousand eight. Okay. Now we got a log file saved in my documents. Okay. We save it. We get rid of this, and this is everything that's uh, in your pretty much in your computer programs. Uh, browsers, browser helpers, and so on. Uh, toolbars you'll see in here. If something was um, put onto your browser without you knowing it, uh, it'll it'll appear in here. And all you do is put a check in it, fix checked, and it's gone. That easy. So you make this file when your computer is running perfectly fine, and you have a problem. You refer to your your log file. You look at it see any changes you get rid of the change very very simple cool little trick works for me works for a lot of friends and uh, it'll work for you okay that's it for this video this was a short one but very helpful one trust me okay until the next video see you enjoy your computer